Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing very well. My name is Avkash and if your interest in generating the Python agents or age similar to agent code using Claude with the reference to Manas, this video is going to be very interesting for you. In this video, I have taken one of the deep analysis report from the Manas and using the same report framework, I have used the Claude and a series of prompts to generate the similar report for any stock ticker such as here you could see for the Microsoft, Apple, and the Tesla, and the code which is generated by the cloud has been used here in this project, which is generating the data based on the ticker we are providing, and then using that JSON data, generating the various HTML reports. So this video is going to give you the steps-by-step -step guideline, how you could use cloud AI to generate the Python code or Python code in the agent form, which you could use to generate various stock related reports. I do believe that this particular video is going to give you a great details of information, how you could write a series of prompts in a way that you could generate the deep stock analysis report in Claude similar to Manas, even when you don't have access to Manas. So let's get ourselves started. Very recently, as of today, the Claude has integrated the web search. It means if I go to Claude, I have already enabled the web search. And here I just make sure that enabled, the web search features are enabled. Then after I just ask Claude to generate the Tesla stock performance for this month, March 25. Here is what Tesla has, Tesla details where it came out. Uh, through the uh, cloud web search. Then I say, okay, why don't you generate the HTML report? And this is the very first report came out with the uh, cloud about the Tesla stock performance as of March 20. That's the latest report based on the web search feature enabled with cloud. If we look into uh, Manas, I think in one of my previous video, you have already seen that Manas already has the pre-created these featured uh, sections where one of uh, the report is about the deeply analyze the Tesla stock. And here is the full report generated by Manas. Definitely, it's a lot programmatically. It's a great to show how the agentic AI is going to work from now on going forward. And at the last, the report is pretty much this way. So what we are trying to go and look into is the comparison between the results, how the cloud is really uh, able to generate the results which are similar to Manas AI. It may not be able to show you the back end, how the agent uh, are working underneath or however the cloud is working in order to generate the re result. But the beauty here is to see the, you can generate exact same results uh, with the, uh, Cloud web uh, search enabled as uh, similar to Manas if that is your objective is. Here you can see that there was the uh, SWOT analysis. I went back to Cloud and I say, why don't you add the SWOT analysis for the Tesla stock? And when you look into the updated report, here is the SWOT analysis strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. So SWOT analysis has done. If we look into the other report where you can see that I need to understand the market position of the Tesla in the global EV market share. So I can come here and I can say, uh, let me move this little up. Okay. Can you add the Tesla market share into the EV market and generate a graph to display this information and add it into the report. So I'm asking Claude to generate the Tesla market share in the EV market and then add that information into the graph. So that will be in the parity with this one. Then after we can also do the the test technical analysis, Tesla price and the moving averages. And I think this is the SWOT analysis here, the target. So I would say that, yeah, uh, what 
if your objective is to compare between the result versus result yes by adding a few prompts uh, clearly what you really want from the cloud you have pretty much same results as the uh, results coming out from the minus ai so here is the okay so now you can see that ev market share 2022 to 2025 here is the around 12 percent in q1 2025 okay so there's still a decline in global ev market position 21 percent in 2023 versus 12 percent in 25 because almost every car manufacturer is putting their ev car in market and you have seen those cars already in 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 market so that's the report let's see the graph how it was really being added so i can look into the graph here is the regional market share ev market position okay ev market share as you can see that this graph has been added also in our report uh, stock performance in the six month if i say can i add the tesla stock performance in last uh, two year okay can you also add the tesla stock performance in last two years in the report okay and then what i will do is that i will ask it to actually generate the python source code for this one and then i will run that parts python source code to generate the report for apple stock so that will pretty much going to see that how you can really generate the uh, generate the code and then you can convert that into the agents and in one of my example i already uh, showed you that how the various source code uh, related with the minus ai when it was generating the tesla performance has been added and they are packaged and you can actually download them okay these are the python files which has been used in order to generate the company profile uh, competitor analysis financial analysis this something so this is how the manus was able to generate this comprehensive report which is this one and that i, I just downloaded that uh, files over here so if we go look into this last prompt where i asked to delete the previous report code and generate the new one and it has pretty much everything what we asked okay. so, so we asked to generate the some forecasting data into the report and that would be a table so i won't i don't think there could be any issue okay so this is our final report uh, after a few iterations uh, it pretty much has the tesla analysis stock performance key key metrics market position then after the swat analysis future price forecast uh, bull case base case bear case so this is as of today our uh, report now i would say that can you with the stock name also so i'm asking cloud to generate the python code and actually if i really want to go iterate i can generate the i can ask to generate the the python code in every single uh, area as it was generated here what is the profile a competitor analysis everything like that so we could ask that way too but i'm just asking to generate a one single file so here is the all the code everything with the instructions so the stock report dot pi and we can pass the stock ticker just by using the uh, particular ticker we can also save the report in a particular file so i have asked claude to generate the code into two files so first file will generate the data json and the second file will take the data generate the report so that would have been better code so the, the data generator file is here and that file generates the data and then second file is the re report generator so it generates the report and when the reports are generated then okay here and then the data generator you pass the stock ticker it generates the json report and then you take that json report and you fed into the report generator and it generates the report or you could also save the report somewhere else so this is the advantage of two file report because that's much more reusable and then i just went to cursor here is the stock data json this is the whole file which generates the report and this is the file which generates the 
sorry first one generates the data second one generates the report and this is how the data look like and then after this is what the report look like so results are in front of you so this is the tesla report which is generated now we can go ahead and we can actually run the report generator for us so we can say let's generate so here are our files so we can say python and we can say stock data json and we can say i would like to run for apple and at this point let me go back here you can see apl report is generated we can go to cd aapl and here is okay let's see data oh my mistake because uh, the code i have fixed because there was some issue here so ts because there was some issue related with the tesla okay so this will be argument and so these are all the two references okay should be okay okay now we can come back here the apple json data generated in the apple report this is the apple data has been generated then after now we can run the python generate report and we can say in the apple folder use this data to generate report apple report generated this is the apple report this is the apple report code and which is here so we can say open apl report and here is our Opel apple report okay and we can see that json is not visible so let me see if there is any issue here and okay unexpected token apple report 586 let's come back 586 so looks like that in the 586 so there was an error 586 i know what is the error because i fixed that earlier so that color should be combined here it means that if we go look into the generate report file let's come back to generate report okay here exactly here is the problem let's fix this code once for all okay apple report now the report should be okay report is generated and everything is okay so now we can see the graphs are being coming out very quick it means if we go next one so we can say let's go run for okay msft microsoft let's come back here as you can see that microsoft data is generated now let's go back to python generate report and we can say we want for msft msft json msft report this is the file we can actually come here we can go to cd msft open msft report.html and there you go so this is the code which has been generated by the cloud for us and that code is pretty much generating the report which is similar to the way the tesla reports are being generated by the cloud so that's i really wanted to show you that even if you are using you are not able to use the monos but if you have a cloud with the latest web search feature you can pretty much get what you want and you can also generate the agent so if you would want to enhance this code the next step would be to just generate these codes into even more smaller smaller pieces as generated by the manus here then after you can run the code through the agentic way the way the manus is running and if you would want to learn how to do it i can show you very quick go to open source manus github as you can see here it's launching the agent dot run so you go to app and as you can see app dot agent dot manus so you go to app dot agent and here is the manus and as you can see here these are the different execution built into so python execute then the browser uh, string replacement whatever and then terminate so browser using tools if you want to look into what is the python execute here are the tools everything so if you go to app tools here and here you can see these are the executors built into python execute look into the python execute here you will see that how the code is really running
So there is a lot to see inside this Monos code, which would be my next target to dig into and figure it out. Until then, you can take this whole code, which I will be pushing into the GitHub repo. So let me do it very quick. Okay. So the code, which we have just generated, I have already dropped it here, the stock data JSON and generate report pi. And here are the reports which I have created. So you can pull this code and you will be it will be very easy for you to just download the code and run on your local machine and enhance it the way you would want. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you have learned something. Feel free to look around the GitHub repo as well as other videos which you like and enjoy. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Peace.